Russell Wilson is brilliant with his playmaking ability. He normally produces. He normally takes care of himself. He minimizes the splatter hits. Uh, and, and so it's good. So you have to embrace it as a team, as a coach. How about the head coach quarterback relationship in general and specifically in Denver? Yeah, you know, it's so important. And you heard early on throughout this offseason, the narrative when they brought Russell in, look, it's going to be a collaboration. Effort. We're going to do what he likes to do. He's going to have a say. He's going to have ownership, which you always love to hear that. But at the same time, as you well know, you come into a new team, new city, new head coach, new system, players around you. It takes time to adapt and adjust and understand what they're doing schematically, how Nathaniel Hackett likes to call the game. And you saw early on, look, they struggled. They've been struggling in situational football. Two minutes at the end of the game against Seattle. Red zone, they had some turnovers, but they're 0 for 6 in the first two weeks of the season. They finally got that together. We're 1 for 1 last week, which was their only red zone trip because they really were anemic throughout most of that game. But they've got to get something going. And right now, they don't have a lot to hang their hat on. And I think that they they say that they're close, but being close isn't going to get it done in the NFL. Uh, that head coach quarterback relationship is so important, like you said, even if the head coach is a defensive guy, a special teams type of guy, or certainly an offensive guy. And when you put a new coach with a veteran quarterback, it may take just a little time for the quarterback and head coach to get philosophy directly on the same page, what the expectations are on all of those situational type aspects of the game. Backed up, short yardage, goal line, red zone, two minute, end of the game situations, end of the half situations. Because if a quarterback and head coach are not exactly on the same page, bad things tend to happen. And so that's one of the things I think they've got to get straightened out. Now, Matt, I would expect an NFL team to have that all ironed out in the off season and then in through training camp, through the preseason, but certainly by game time of league games, they, were, they should be on the exact same page. There's plenty of time to do that. The Denver Broncos, are not on the same page quite yet. And my thing, what was the thing in Seattle? Let Russell eat. I say uh, let, let him cook. Let him cook. <laughs> let him cook. Let him cook. I, I like that. Let Russell cook in Seattle. I think it's turn Russell loose in Denver from play one throughout the game. Yeah, I mean, you brought him in there for a reason. You brought him in there because of his special skill set, his playmaking ability. And right now, I think he's trying to do everything right in this system. And that can be something that handcuffs you too as a quarterback. When you come into a new system and you're getting familiar with it, you're trying to do everything right. Stay in the pocket, go through your read, because they're rhythmic timing passing game, right? And right now, you're not seeing the improvisation that, I mean, he normally is accustomed to when he was in Seattle. So I, I think that once they start to get into more of a rhythm and he understands this offense a little bit better, because he didn't play in preseason. You brought up preseason. He didn't take one snap during preseason. Right. And those Good are point. valuable snaps just to go out and get as a quarterback with a new team. But, I mean, it's going to be a process for sure. Uh, those are great points. Now, Matt, as a quarterback, decision-making, accuracy, timing, Trust your training, trust your instincts, and turn it loose. Otherwise, you mentioned it. If you're trying to be too perfect, do it exactly like the coach is teaching it, you become just a little bit mechanical. We've seen that too many times. There's been young guys I've coached that are so desperately trying to do it right. just perfectly. You bring them over and go, okay, I don't want you thinking, just trust it and turn it loose. Let me see what you got. And then they make that little jump and they, they look like they're playing a much more natural game. You must allow your natural abilities and natural instincts to flow in an NFL game.